Hi, I'm Mahesh Ramchandani, Consultant Ophthalmologist at University Hospital Dorset. I have a special interest in cataract and in glaucoma. This short video is about laser iridotomy used to treat or prevent angle closure glaucoma. But what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a condition in which raised eye pressure damages the optic nerve, causing sight loss. The eye pressure is maintained by a balance between the constant production and drainage of fluid inside the eye. This fluid, called aqueous humor, is different from tears, which lubricate the outside of the eye. The internal fluid, or aqueous humor, is produced by the ciliary body. The fluid circulates inside the eye and then flows through the pupil into the drainage apparatus, a sieve-like structure called the trabecular meshwork. Raised eye pressure, which can cause glaucoma, arises because the fluid cannot drain away. This is usually because the drain itself is blocked. We call glaucoma arising from this type of mechanism open angle glaucoma. In some situations, the eye pressure is raised because the fluid cannot reach the drainage apparatus, even though the drain itself may be open. This occurs when the gap in which the drain is located is too narrow to allow the fluid to reach it. We call glaucoma arising from this type of mechanism angle closure glaucoma. The angle is the structure in the front part of the eye between the iris and the cornea. By making a tiny hole in the edge of the iris, the fluid can bypass the narrowed angle and reach the drain. The hole is made using laser, and the procedure is called YAG laser iridotomy. As well as treating eyes with angle closure glaucoma, the procedure is also effective in reducing the risk of developing future glaucoma in susceptible normal eyes. Who will benefit from this treatment? All eyes are different, and there are certain types of eye which are more susceptible. Long sighted people who have small eyes tend to have more narrow angles. So, if you're very long-sighted and wear thick glasses which magnify images, you may be more susceptible. People who have a family history of angle closure glaucoma are also more susceptible. There are also ethnic variations so that angle closure glaucoma has a higher incidence in Far Eastern populations, although it's also seen in the West. But what symptoms would I need to have to benefit from this type of laser? How would I know? People present with different clinical pictures. You may have been referred routinely to the eye unit following a routine optician's visit, and the optician may have picked up the finding of a narrow angle. Commonly, in this scenario, the rest of the eye examination may be normal. The eye pressure is normal, the optic nerve is healthy, and the vision is good. Alternatively, the pressure may be raised in conjunction with a narrow angle, and you may still be symptom-free. Less commonly, you may have symptoms of blurring of vision, seeing multicolored halos around lights, or a red or painful eye associated with raised eye pressure. In this case, the referral is more urgent. What happens in the eye clinic? Before recommending treatment, the patient will be examined by an ophthalmologist on a slit lamp to look at the front part of the eye. Here, we see a shallow anterior chamber angle. Importantly, the eye doctor will also place a special contact lens on the eye, which enables the angle to be visualized. The contact lens contains a mirror, which enables the width of the angle to be assessed. How is the laser treatment carried out? YAG laser iridotomy is done in the laser room as an outpatient. The patient is sat upright and the laser is delivered using a slit lamp, similar to how we examine eyes in a typical eye clinic. To prepare the eye, various eye drops are administered one of these is an anaesthetic eye drop to numb the eye. Another constricts the pupil to make the laser easier to perform. And a further drop is instilled to prevent any pressure rise during the laser. Having prepared the eye, the contact lens is applied and the laser treatment is carried out. It consists of a series of applications, each lasting fractions of a second, 
and in experienced hands, the whole procedure typically takes 5 to 10 minutes. Blue eyed people have a thinner iris and the treatment is quicker. People with brown eyes have a thicker iris and the treatment may take a little longer. After the laser, the patient will be asked to wait for up to 20 minutes, after which a final pressure reading will be taken and then they will be allowed to leave. What can I do or not do after the laser? On the day of treatment, I advise you to take it easy and not to drive as the vision will be blurry for a few hours. You can still go outside for walks and use your eyes, the eye is not padded. You can resume normal activities including driving the following day. You should use a steroid eye drop such as Maxidex four times a day for a fortnight. A prescription for this will be provided to you. If you're already taking glaucoma eye drops, these will be discussed with you at the time of laser. I arrange a follow-up check in the eye clinic a few weeks after the laser. What are the risks of treatment? All treatments have some risk and fortunately the risks of laser iridotomy are relatively low. Sometimes there can be bleeding inside the eye from the laser site. This is stopped by the surgeon pressing the contact lens during the treatment and if bleeding occurs it usually stops within a few minutes. The laser treatment causes mild inflammation, so steroid eye drops are administered for about a fortnight afterwards to dampen this down. It is rarely a problem. A transient rise in eye pressure can occur and this is assessed about 20 minutes after the laser treatment. Rarely it can arise days or weeks after the laser and so a follow-up appointment is always arranged. Much less commonly, after the laser, some people are aware of seeing a line of light at the edge of their vision in dim light, for example when at a cinema. An appropriately located laser treatment site will help to reduce the risk of this occurring. If it arises, most people adapt with time and aren't aware of it. Its presence indicates a functioning iridotomy. It's rare for people to be troubled by this. There is some evidence that laser iridotomy can accelerate cataract formation, although this is rarely a problem. It is extremely rare for any permanent damage to eyesight resulting from the laser treatment. But what if I choose not to have treatment? When laser is offered to asymptomatic patients in order to reduce the risk of developing future angle closure glaucoma, a few people may prefer not to undergo treatment. In this case, I advise having a periodic check of their eye pressure at their optician and being wary of the symptoms of angle closure glaucoma, which if they experience, they should have a prompt eye pressure check. The symptoms to look out for are pain, reduced vision, seeing multicolored halos around lights. The pupil may also be fixed and not reactive. Are there any alternatives to laser iridotomy? Recent studies have shown that cataract surgery is also a good initial treatment option in eyes with angle closure glaucoma as an alternative to laser iridotomy. If there is significant cataract and a narrowed or closed angle, then cataract surgery will prevent the need for laser iridotomy. When carried out appropriately, in experienced hands, the benefits of laser iridotomy far outweigh any risk and will keep you seeing. Thanks for watching.